Hello, welcome to Way Programming Channel. In our previous video, we have seen that how to build a time stable using mini GUI in console mode. Today, we are going to see how can we build a GUI time stable using the same method, same same statement. First, we have to start the IDE. And then we start a new project by clicking the empty icon. And let's uh, name the new project. I put it in the GUI times table. And the name use the same name, you am stamp table. Since it is the GUI program, then we have to build a window. So we start a new form using the same name. Without this. Okay. <clears throat> so we have a new form. In this new form, as we are used to it, we have to change the standard windows type to main windows type and then we may like uh, to put a label on the title of the windows GUI times table So it appears here. And uh, we have to put the text box so that we can receive a number from the user that we can create the times table for that number. So put a label. <clears throat> Make it smaller. And then in this label, let's uh, change the value to number. That is the place where we want to receive a number for our time table. Okay. <clears throat> so, as you can see, our table's name, our form name is GUI times table dot FMG. Now, in order for the program to be executed, we need a module in PGR form. So, we add a new module and we give them the same name without the FMG extension of course so this is will be this will be in PRG now a new file will be created under it they will load windows main but we have changed the name of the windows to GUI times table so we need to replace the main window here. However, the function is still the same as fun main function, function main. Okay. So now if we try out the uh, save first, control S, we we'll save. We can try compile and see if the 
setting it are uh, correct or not. So if uh, everything okay, the no something wrong here. You say error at line number four window. Okay, so we have to check what is the error. Before that, we see the preferences. Yeah, right. Sometimes you see that there there is a bin here. If you see a bin here, you have to delete delete it. Sometimes don't know uh, this IDE they will have a bin here. So we have to delete the bin. And we like to use a Notepad plus plus. So it's a program files and here is a GUI Let's look at the code for the forms. Title GUI time stable main. So uh, something wrong with this Windows uh, setting. So what we can do is we have to go back and look at this table title here we have to save it as text instead of variable okay now we look here uh, save the form then we go back to the code you see it says we have to reload it now GUI times table is put as a text and not a variable so the windows is still main okay so now i think we should be able to compile it correctly okay so windows is appear here let's stop it now in order for our GUI times table to appear we need a grid to show the times table okay and this grid it has uh, a few columns you can see here there are only two columns we need to change it to five columns the first column under name number second column under name uh, times normal times x and then times how many times and then equal sign and then the result or answer and The width here, we can change the smaller column into 25, 
try see if we can get a <coughs> intended grid there's a problem item size mismatch because we have changed it to five columns but in our setting here there is only two columns so we have to add three more columns so there are five now <coughs> compile again ok so now we have three five columns one two three four five and uh, we want the times table to have 12 lines because the times will increase from one until 12 so this is too short we have to make it longer So we have to <coughs> size it make, it, make it longer. Okay, exactly 12. Safe form. Now we go back to module. We add a function. Let's call it refresh. So here we will add item for the grid. We have to delete the items appear in the grid so that we can add new one. So for i equals to 1 to 12, UI times table grid 1, we add item. My item will be the number n times i i is the one the value one till twelve equals to i times n. So what is n? N is the value of value of the text value. this text so we get it from from the function here so when you when we call this function we have to give the value the the number that we want and uh, <coughs> As you can see from the FMG here, grid, the items are this. So in order to change the items, we call it, we use a array, a row, instead of this. So that we can change the value. So these arrows must be defined 
in our PRG. In the main function, we define a variable called A rows, which is consists of a of an a array of twelve rows times uh, five columns. and save you want the grid the times table to appear once we give the value here so we go to the properties here text one event here on change you want it to call refresh and give a number and this number <coughs> is the value of text one times table text one value but however this value is a text in order to change it to a numerical value we have to and use a built-in function var to change it to a numerical value ok save now let's compile and see have we successfully built a time stable or not? Incomplete statement Unbalanced delete meter Line 4 Since you want to declare we, I forgot the word here Local Make it a local variable We save and compile again. Line twelve syntax error. So let's enter a number, let's say 2. You can see that the time table appear using number 2 times 1 equals to 2, 2 times 2, 2 times 3 until 2 times 12. About, what about 20? How about uh, 25? Okay, so we have successfully built a time table in a Windows. That's all for today. Hope you can try it out. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and share it to your friend. If you have any comment, please type under it. Thank you. Bye.